Hey BlenderBob here, I made an update to my Fire Ray add-on. I added support for Reality Capture. What is Reality Capture? It's a software that allows you to do photogrammetry. What is photogrammetry? Well, it's this concept where you will take a lot of pictures from different angles of an object and then you bring it into the software and it's going to output a 3D geometry for you. Reality Capture is made by Epic, you know, the, made, the people that made Unreal Engine. And I think it's free. Check it out. I'm not sure. I had a license, so I think it's free. And uh, yeah, so I will show you how I integrated it with the Fire Ray add-on. So let's check it out. This is the result I got from Reality Capture. And when you export as an FBX, you will also get all the cameras. We can see that the photogrammetry didn't work very well. I got a lot of holes in it because uh, it's all flat surfaces and it's too shiny, etc. The cameras have the same name as the background image that it requires. So I couldn't manually add the background images one by one, but that could take forever. So I'll just go here, select an image, have the same name here, 000. And now if I look at my camera, you can see that the background image has been added. Now that would take a while and sometimes you could have like 200 pictures for photogrammetry. So just click on the setup button and it's going to set up all the background images for all the cameras and it's going to mark all the cameras on the timeline. So if you move in the timeline, it's going to switch from one camera to another. Now if I turn off the model, you can see that I get all the information I need to finish my modeling. Now let's go to the original function of this add-on, which was the fire ray. Click on create uh, empty and it's going to create an empty that you will place somewhere in the scene where you would like to get a special position. For example, this one here, this is not in the original model. If I turn it on, you can see it's completely off. So I don't know where this point is in space. If I look at it here in the perspective window, you can see that it's totally off. So that's why we have this add-on. So let's go back to the camera. If I click the select empty and fire, it will create a line that goes from the camera and passing through the empty. You can see it here. So we know that it fits from this camera. Now let's change to another camera and we'll see that it doesn't fit exactly where we want it. And that's why we have this curve here. All we need to do is to snap on that curve and move the empty on the curve to the exact place where we want it. So now that it matches in both cameras, it's going to match in every camera. Let's try another one. I will put the marker here, the empty, exactly in the center of the P here. So if I look from the uh, perspective camera, you can see that it's completely off. It only works from one axis. So now I'll fire my ray and uh, I will just move to another camera, snap the empty where I want it on the curve, and now it matches for every camera. Now you don't necessarily need to have a reality capture set up to be able to use the Fire Ray tool. It's going to work on any tracked camera. So you can do your tracking in Blender, it's still going to work. All right, it's in the extension platform. It's free. Go get it. Okay, bye.